Right, let's look at a few ways of adding a simple border around an image using Photoshop. Now the first way I'm going to do here is using the stroke keys and all we're going to do is take the elliptical marquee tool and drag a selection around the whole image. If you don't want to use that you just do Control A and that will do the same thing, it will select the entire image. Then we go to Edit, Stroke and we're going to do the maximum width of 200 pixels and a white colour and we're clicking the location inside with the blending mode normal. If we click OK you'll see that this image is a full resolution image so the 200 pixel border should be fairly good. Let's just wait for that to be done. There you go, there's the border. So already we've got a white border going around the image but you can see it's chopped off the lights and other parts of the image including the bottom of the cake. We'll come to that in a bit later but this is just to show you quickly how to do a very easy border. If you like that one that's great. If you want to do a slightly different border and have a black border with a white key line you could do exactly the same again. You just go to edit, sorry before you do that you do control A to select the whole image. Then you go to edit, stroke and this time we change the colour to black and we do the width to 190. So it's slightly smaller and we still stay on the inside with blending mode normal and click OK. That should leave a 10 pixel white key line around a black border I'm hoping. There we go. So what happened is you just pulled in the stroke from the outside only 190 pixels this time leaving a, a, a 10 pixel border on the inside of the image. So there we've got quite a nice looking frame. Um, it's a black border with a white key line but we have chopped off parts of the image. So even though that's a good way of doing it we're going to look at a, a separate way now to actually prevent chopping any of the image away. So we're back to the original image and we do Control A again to select the, the whole image and then this time we go to Image Canvas Size and that brings up the actual canvas size of the, the, the photo itself. Now I'm going to expand this by 400 pixels on each edge so 3888 becomes 4288 and 2592 becomes 2992. Now what this does is adds a border around the outside but it doesn't actually affect the, the image itself so we've not chopped anything away from the cake or the light above we've just expanded the canvas behind. So there you go that's straight away added a, a quick border without chopping any of the photo away and then we do Control A yet again and then we go to Edit stroke and a 190 pixel border, black border on the inside again with blending of normal, exactly the same settings, set it running and that should now add another black border with a white key line. There we go and this time we've got the same border but without chopping any of the photo away so it's a much more effective way of adding a black border with a white key line. Another way of adding a border um, but this time we again we crop into the photo is to select Control A or select the whole image which puts the running ants all the way around then go to select modify border and the maximum width is 200 pixels and click OK that'll put a 200 pixel border around the edge and then what you need to do is go to select refine the edge and make sure that it's absolutely pin sharp all the way around if we change the radius you'll see that some things will happen to the image uh, let's have a look if we change the contrast you'll see that it's kind of softening up a bit there so we need it to be absolutely sharp so we put the contrast right up there if the smoother was at the other end of the scale and the feather it would be too smooth like that let's put the feather right back and then the smooth right back as well and contract expand has to be all the way up here as well if you follow these these um, settings so we put that right the way back up and we've got a very very sharp edge around the outside we've now seen that the border is going to be perfectly sharp so if you do a radius of zero contrast of 100% smooth zero feather zero contract expand 100% click OK and you've got a sharp border selected at the moment with running ants and you can do whatever you want with that if you want to fill it you go to edit fill choose a color and then just press OK and you've automatically got a black border if you want to add a sort of transparent funky brush effect pick something like the leaves here and then just hold down the brush and zoom them in and you can got a you've got a kind of a funky brush effect around the outside um, you can do anything once this is selected you can even take the paint brush and select a normal style brush and select a hard brush and make sure it's big enough to go over the edge 
and then select any color you want is pick one from the background say the deep maroon within the curtain there and select OK then you can just simply paint it in and you've got whatever color board you want but it's easier to actually use the fill tool but um, really once that's done once that's selected you can do anything you want with it you can again use the stroke let's do that we use the stroke to, to pull in the details again maybe have a white border with a, a, a red key line anything like that so there are a few ways of using Photoshop itself to make a make a border onto an image let's just revert this back but really you're much better off taking um, some software ready built to actually make borders for you I'll show how easy it is once you've got that if we go into actions and we go into Kubota's production tools number two if we scroll down we'll find a border black with white horizontal and it's already done for you so all you need to do is press play get the action running and it will create a border with a white key line for you without having to do anything else just press stop and we've then got that border if you want to change any of it it's actually built some layers so you can change the the stroke you can change the color fill so if we do that click on the color there we can change the actual color of the border very easily or even use the color picker itself to make any color border we want so you know it's sometimes better off and a lot quicker using some software such as these um, what were they called production tools from Kevin Gabota um, once they're loaded you, again you can run it as an action without having to make your own action and save it this will actually just work on all your images if you want to create borders around them but it gives the same effect but just a lot quicker and again we haven't chopped any of the image away so that's just three or four really simple ways of creating a board around your image once you know how to do those you can then start to get a little bit arty with them and add your own touches colors shapes and that kind of thing so just tweak all the effects get the borders you like and go with those but I hope that helps